After seven NFL seasons, tight end John Carlson has called it a career. I'm Jim Basquale alongside ESPN NFL analyst Tim Hasselback. You know, his career had been marred by head injuries, but you just pointed out to me that that wasn't the case last year. He played the whole year. Is this a bit of a surprise to you that he pulls the plug on his career after seven seasons? You know, I, I think I'm a little bit surprised. You know, had he retired a year ago, I, yeah. I don't think I would have been that surprised because he did miss some time, uh, he missed some time after having a concussion. Um, and I do know that even before we were hyper aware of how sure. many concussions a guy have, he certainly, um, you know, dealt with at least one concussion that I know of in, in Seattle. So um, I think a year ago would not have been a surprise. Now you have to look at last season for him. It's actually a nice piece of the puzzle for the Arizona Cardinals. They kind of had a, um, you know, a surprising season, especially with struggles at the quarterback position. But, you know, he really um, – was healthy last year right. and was a nice contributor for them. Um, but I think, you know, people, uh, you know, everyone's shelf life is different in the mm -hmm. NFL. Seven seasons, um, you know, is not a not short. Not a bad run in No, here. no, it's not no. a short career. But I also think it's a nice, um, you know, I guess, you know, cautionary tale as everyone mm -hmm. gets excited about, you know, guys that are drafted in the first and the second round right. for their football team. Carlson, obviously, a second, second round pick of the Seattle Seahawks. The Arizona Cardinals are his third team. That's just in seven years. So, just because you get somebody in the second round doesn't mean they're a decade starter for you at that position. Tim, how about this, though? We are much more, and you are too, ex-players, are much more educated now about head injuries mm -hmm. and the effects of them post-career. You're seeing a lot of players that are hanging up the, the cleats, so to speak. Borland in San Francisco, that was a bit of a surprise, mm -hmm. obviously, too. Do you think players, just because they know a lot more about the effects of head injuries, for the rest of your life are more apt to do things like this air on the side of caution maybe pull the plug on the yeah. career a year or two earlier you know to be honest with you i don't think so there may be a case here and there where where a guy you know cites that as something that's influenced his decision but um listen guys did that before we had you know the knowledge of um you know and really you know looking at guys that played long careers and yeah. uh you know attribute some of their health issues to, to two concussions they sustained while playing. Um, but I think you're also going to have guys like Patrick Willis that say, look, I, I'm done because I gave it everything I, I had. And to be quite honest, it's not my head that's bothered. It, it's my feet. It's my elbow. It's my shoulder. It's, sure. Or I just don't want to go through the grind of a season again. I mean, um, you know, I, I think it's been somewhat surprising. It's gotten a lot of attention because there's been some really good players mm -hmm. decide to retire a little bit early. But Listen, Barry Sanders did it. Um, you know, there have been yeah. guys in the past that have done it. I think now we start to, um, you know, give the reasoning of why somebody retires when it may not be their personal reason for retiring. And so ultimately for Carlson, um, you know, I, I, playing 16 games last year with no issues in terms of, uh, you know, concussions, I can't imagine that that's one of the things that was a big factor in his decision. John Carlson is turning the page as he is leaving the NFL, retiring after seven seasons in the league. You can read more about this story and keep up with the Arizona Cardinals by keeping it locked to the NFL page right here on ESPN.com. For Tim Hasselbeck, I'm Jim Basquale.